just before you died, you went quite mad. Which, even then, you and we, we knew that it was worse than death. You did not dive over some precipice, a bright white stone plunging through the air, passing chalk white cliffs, cutting through the foam, sinking deep, burying yourself with neat determination into that abyss. And yet we knew that you were headed to the ocean. Instead, you simply loosed the rope, separated boat from pier and began to row into the dark and deep brown water. And gradually, you went completely mad. I have so many memories of you that are suffused with joy, undimmed by time and hardly tainted by nostalgia for even as they occurred, even as they were that first moment born into themselves, they were golden with memory and hazy with delight, for that is how it feels to be loved like that. And yet, the moment that I hold the most is that night, so very near the end, when you were an interminable earthquake to yourself. And so, for going land, you embraced this equilibrium. The rock, the motion, the motion, the rock. The irrevocability that soon you would be quite mad and you would die. And then you called me into bed because you said you were as cold as the moon. And petty tidal, I pulled to you and we both lay there never sleeping through the hours of suburban houses, the receding and entreating wash of traffic and night song and quiet and birdsong and dawn. And I held you, like our children hold butterflies in their palms, cupping hand to hand and feeling in that hollow life beating fragilely, knowing just a little that each beat was drawing closer to the last, knowing somewhere outside cognition that you were quite mad and you would die. I called to the bank and shouted bailed water from your feet and still I knew that I would quiet soon, fill up half the perfect void, drop my arms exhausted by my side to watch you on the water, growing ever more beautiful in this late hour, submitting and obedient to your finitude. I remember it the best, and I remember it the most, because at last, I loved you with the same humility that you had loved me. And suddenly, there was so much laughter, so much light, so much shouting, so much joy. And we were both quite mad, and we were going to die. Isabel was a girl with whom I never got too far Although she took me in her arms and when she did I fell apart I saw her on a Wednesday but met her on a Friday night Amongst 200 people in the middle of an open bar it took me 30 minutes, 5 years to work the courage up But the minute I approached her, I forgot about my broken heart We talked about 2 hours, but we both knew right off the bat So when we kissed it felt like nothing more could be so right Told her 
come with me She flipped it in the air and caught it I just closed my eyes And when I opened them she had such a disappointing frown She got into a cab and drove into the starry Until she never